Clostridioides difficile, or C. diff, is a type of bacteria. It can grow inside your gut and cause bad gastrointestinal symptoms, including diarrhea that lasts for several days. C. diff causes nearly half a million illnesses in the United States each year. In some cases, hospitalization is needed to get symptoms under control. But the good news is that effective treatments are available. Let's take a look at what C. diff is and how it can be treated. C. diff can be a stubborn infection. Recurrent C. diff is when symptoms disappear for a while, but then come back. About one in five people who've had C. diff will go on to get it again. Most cases of C. diff occur in people who have recently been taking antibiotics. To understand why, it helps to know about what's happening inside your intestines. Your intestines are teeming with a huge community of bacteria and other microorganisms. This community is known as the gut microbiota. You may think of bacteria as harmful, but they can also be beneficial. A healthy microbiota helps you digest food and protects you from infection. Antibiotic use is the main thing that increases your chance of becoming ill from C. diff. When you take antibiotics, they can disrupt the gut microbiota. That leaves you more vulnerable to disease-causing bacteria, such as C. diff. But other things can also add to your risk, such as being hospitalized recently, being age 65 or older, or having an inflammatory bowel disease. What happens once you're infected with C. diff? You may experience watery diarrhea three or more times per day, which lasts for more than two days. You may also have fever, loss of appetite, nausea, and belly pain or cramps. In severe cases, you may have very frequent diarrhea, as often as six or more times per day. Seek medical care right away if this occurs. When you're having symptoms of C. diff, it's important to see your healthcare provider. Your provider may order a stool test to confirm a diagnosis of C. diff. For this test, a stool sample is collected in a sterile container, then it's analyzed at a lab. Your provider may also order blood tests to help assess how bad your infection is. Most cases of C. diff can be treated with medicine. However, you may be surprised to learn what kind. You know that antibiotic use increases the risk for C. diff infection, but C. diff is also treated with antibiotics, specific ones that are likely different from the antibiotics you were taking before. As a first-time treatment, the antibiotic is generally taken for at least 10 days. For recurrent C. diff, it may be continued for several weeks. Although antibiotics can usually treat C. diff, more intense treatments are sometimes needed. One option is a fecal microbiota transplant, or FMT. In this innovative treatment, a gut microbiota preparation is made from the stool of a healthy donor. Then, it's transferred into the patient as a liquid mixture. The transfer may be done by a colonoscopy, an enema, or an upper endoscopy. In addition, some FMT preparations can be taken by mouth as capsules. The transplanted microorganisms help the gut get back to normal and restore the protection against C. diff. It's important to take C. diff seriously. Ongoing diarrhea can cause dehydration. This may lead to electrolyte imbalances, which occur when important minerals found in body fluids get out of balance. After recovering from C. diff infection, many people go on to develop irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS. This may cause irregular bowel movements, excessive gas, bloating, nausea, and an urgent need to go to the bathroom. IBS symptoms may last for months, but they can be managed with medicine, diet changes, and stress reduction. It can take a while to get rid of C. diff for good, but treatments are available. Work closely with your provider to start feeling better as soon as possible. To learn more, go to patient.gastro.org.